to come to Jesus. How long have you been studying Islam? All your life you was a Muslim? No. Uh, 2014. Where you took Shahada? In the county. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ocean County. Ocean County. Mm -hmm. And how much time did you do? Five. Where at? Border Town, Yardville. Now here's the beautiful thing like this, CJ. Mm -hmm. Now I'm looking at you, right? And I gotta, cause I came home when I was 30, mm -hmm. right? After a long journey, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I remember that start over, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now I'm 20 years out now, but man, I remember, I remember when I first came to the city cause I hadn't seen it in over a decade. Right? Mm -hmm. Man, I had butterflies in my stomach. Like, because it was just like a total new, I mean, it like drastically changed. Like, where you see the walk and all that stuff, mm -hmm. that used to be my neighborhood. It was gone. So just imagine, like, and it, 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 it like, was a whole new place. And I was like, and that happened in 13 years. So when, I, when I'm listening to you, I'm like, this, this is, this for me, brothers like you, like, a dream come true, right? Like, yo, bro, we did it. Let me help you, right? See, people like you is what I was missing while I was finding out or learning the thing. It, I'm around a bunch of dudes that my age or younger. Half of them, I feel like only they tell you to roll your pants up. I don't have them. I only feel like they took it harder <laughs> to find some type of protection. Or they were just, their parents was Muslim, so now they, they only didn't put their in jail, this, that, and third. So it's just like, uh, so I just, I, I relied on books, but then come here, and then I start saying things I'm reading in these books, that ain't right. That ain't right. So it's like, I, I feel like I gotta break it back down and, and, and rebuild. Step by step. You know? That's how it was when I met him. I met when the first time. <laughs> no, yo, when, when I met him. I had been Muslim already for like seven years. And he told me to recite the Fatiha. And I was, he said, man, we got to learn that over. I'm like, what you mean, nigga? Like, <laughs> I was like, I know the Fatiha. I guess I ain't know it. Like, everything that I knew, I had to learn over. You know what I mean? So. That's it. I'm comfortable with that, though, as long as I know I'm learning it right way. But, but see, that's the thing. Mm. I was telling him earlier. Like, I had a fortune that most of us don't get. Like, I went overseas when I was a kid. Like, mm. like, and I, I was in, I was forced to be in that environment. I couldn't leave, because I got in trouble. Mm. So I couldn't come back, right? So I was in that environment, and I happened to be in the best of that environment. You know what I mean? So I got some experiences that normally you wouldn't get. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just by fortune alone. Yeah, yeah. But, my thing is, what about us tomorrow? That's what I think about. And I, we gonna be old and gone. What about our kids? They shouldn't go through the same thing we went through. Like that should be like a, you know, that should be that should be like just the most important thing to us is our children. You know, like that's another thing I, I, I realized too, because like, like a lot of a lot of my friends and everything. They got kids, and most of us all got bored. And I mean, just looking at like the things that they do, with they kids, like they kids know the whole operation. Yeah, and, and, and that ain't no win. No, I know. Like, that's why I'm like, nah, I gotta be different. Cause, like, I gotta have the kids that yeah. that they, they, and because they, they if the, you look you know, at you look at the money, right? You look at the money. Especially now. Now, in my day, you might have a little different argument because I'm talking about the 80s. Yeah, they, they really make you feel like you're over here, right? <laughs> CJ was on the porch. <laughs> yeah, I was. Like, you no. Know, now, in, in, in my day, sometimes I, I like, because <clears throat> in the city, like, I represent the Muslims. Mm -hmm. So, when there's always government stuff or <laughs> when they had these raids and they call all the people, you know, I get called all the time because I represent the Muslim. And <laughs> they talk to me, the police, chief, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, I be saying what brothers go to jail for today. 
I'd be like, man, you might as well work at McDonald's, man. <coughs> Meaning, <coughs> y'all ain't making no money. And the time you're going to do, that's a McDonald's job. For the money you got and what you're going to go to jail, the time you're going to get, when you balance it out, that's a McDonald's job, bro. Because y'all ain't making no money. Now, like in our day, we was making money like that. Like, yeah. No, like this is just fact. I see guy right now. Not, if a guy got ten really grand or twenty not. grand, he think he got money. Yeah, nah, that's no. Good. Like that was literally for us in those days. That was what you walked around in your pocket. It was a different world, right? It was, it was a whole different world. Now, see, I experienced that type of <laughs> that, that, that real money because within two, like two thousand nine, that was. 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, at Ocean County, it dope it real crazy. So like, it spread so so fast and, and it's, it's like such a hot commodity. Like literally, every day I'm selling 100 bricks hand to hand to fiends mm -hmm. for the highest price possible. <coughs> and I'm getting it for a low price. And I'm just doing this every day. Every day, 24 hours a day. Like, I'm not, and then I got everything else too. One stop shop. You ain't gotta go to nobody else. And I'm cutting a lot of people out. So it's like, I seen that money, but I never did nothing with it. Mm -hmm. I wasted it. Mm -hmm. Which so is most like, most of everybody. Yeah, but, so it's but like, that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's the only way you really going to prosper doing it is if you already knew what to do. So most of us, we young, dumb, coming up <coughs> with a gun in the pack, and it's like, it is what it is. Like, we out here. Not knowing that what about the end game or, or end how game. to get out, and then it's like we we touch that crazy type of money. Like I know I know a few people that that, that touch a few million. And I, and I see when I said I said I see these guys, man. And I know like the last couple cases, these we got all this time. I'm like, and y'all ain't even experienced the other side of it. Like you're going in two catches. Number one, you, you, the money that you the time you get. So say you get. 20 years, and that's that's a that's a break if you catch fed time. Absolutely. Like these guys, state you might get away with something. You catch a fed case, you get it like at 848 ongoing criminal enterprises, and you ain't really like that. The time they gonna give you 30, 40 years, right? And that's fed time. You gonna do like 27 of that, mm -hmm. or 30 of that, or more, right? And then because you broke. And most people, when you go over that time, they're going to take your money. You know, whoever, you, and you, your girl, that's done. All Absolutely. that, you forget about all that. Absolutely. Right? So, even if she come visit you for the first four or five years, years six, seven, eight, nine, ten, by that time, class, you, I, that's over. By that time, you probably somewhere to change, even well, trying to get right. to anywhere. Now, and here's the other thing. Just now they say they're moving you at least every other year. Now, now you got the money. Now you're out of the money. Now you won't go, you got to work in Unicorn, it's federal prison, prison industries. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to make them millions. They're making money just you being here, and you working and making the money. Mm -hmm. like, like, it's a deep joint. So mm -hmm. you lost money, and you're building an industry that's going to come and destroy your community. You're a slave. Like, it's deep. So, like, and, unless you got people who've been through that, they've experienced it. Yo, 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 bro, young buck, let me tell you this how this go. Right, but actually, but, and then, like what I say with us, and I got a lot of brothers that we was like old heads, that, like, yo man, we got it, we got it, we, we accountable, right? Because we seen it, we can't let it keep going on, right? And 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 and, and even Islamically, we've lost black people, we've lost our authority in the religion. And and, and, and and we're following ways that have nothing to do with our reality. Right? And, and I mean like that the, the Islam Islam can touch every culture, no matter where it is in the world. I've seen it. But each culture makes it fit their reality, right? We haven't learned to do that. As 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 a community, we've always we spent our time emulating others. And by the time we will emulate others, we'll see it don't work, we'll stop, then we get another group, then we we'll emulate that, then we'll, and we never learn what is Islam and how does it apply 
How do we apply Islam to our reality? Because we never learned Islam properly, right? It's doable. Everyone around the world, if you go to China, you see Islam, scholarship, but fit the Chinese people. You go to Africa, you go to Yemen, you go to Syria, you go to Russia. Anywhere around the world, you'll see where they took Islam, they learned it, and then they allow they they allow, they put Islam to fit in their culture, right? Took out of their culture what is no good, kept in their culture what is what is good, and used Islam to refine it. We haven't learned to do that because we've always we've took we've taken other people's culture and tried to put it to a reality that it don't fit, which is ours, which is a reality that exists nowhere in the world. In that black, black America is only in America. It, it don't exist nowhere else. And, and I'm not saying that I've traveled all over the world. It don't exist. No one is dealing with the circumstances of black America. They got their own circumstances. It ain't ours. So we got to we gotta make Islam and learn how to use it to build us. And, and that part, the learning part, is a big curve, like a big, huge gap. But what hurts us is the same thing hurts us without being Muslim in the black community. Education hasn't been put on us, right? Like, so black men, a lot, especially in the inner city, we talk about all black men, they won't be inclusive, but in the inner city, black men is still, you got Joey still hustling, huh? With a million snitches, with like, we think that, it, so like that's my only option. Really, y'all? That's your only option? That, that shows us that we haven't, we haven't ourselves as a group matured. Exactly. Like, because. Because at this point, like. You should know that stuff. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not, it ain't like I'm far removed from the game. So I still know a little bit what's going on at this point. The price is just too high. <laughs> and, and what you're giving it to the finish for is, is, is damn near what you paid for. You're only making, if you buy a brick, you're only making about $50 off of it. So it's completely pointless if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? like, yeah. So it's like, that's why I'm just like, what? Yeah, you know, I'm so. It's like the price is up and down like a seesaw at this point. It's like, if I could get it, get it off on you, it is what it is. And then at that, they don't know what they're doing as far as putting it together. So if you get all types of BS that you might kill somebody, now you're doing seven for that, right? All you, trying so to get a couple dollars. And you, you, you evaluate that. Now here's the thing with a lot of the young brothers, a lot, a lot of us, they think that's the only option they got because we haven't shown them nothing else, right? So we didn't show them the value of a good education. How to start your own business, like what y'all doing. Y'all entrepreneurs that need to be shown to the young brothers. Now everybody, the concept is the concept, mm -hmm. right? When you're an entrepreneur, like that's just one craft, but the same concept applied to whatever else you're doing, right? That's like you know. I, I had a young brother. I was doing more when I when I moved out here. We were doing whatever we was doing. I'm like, yo, bro, like I'm not doing this forever, bro. He's like, what you mean? I'm like, bro, like, I, every time I give you something, you come back, new car, or, or this, that, and the third. Listen, bro, I'm not doing stuff. What we need to do is buy a store and, and build from there. I said, if it's not, bro, what you going to do? He's currently right now locked up. Yeah. And, and you, it's not, it's, 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 this don't last forever. It's, this is, it's just temporary. It's not one of the situations where you could be a, a, a full-time, career-high drug dealer. No, bro, like, that shit don't work. Like, you're not about to get stats put up for you like, I sold the most rich in 2000. No, bro, that shit don't make a difference. Like, and so it's like, you got to find something like that's, that's going to have substance and that's going to, whether something bad happens to you or not, it's still going to be there. And uh, that's, that's, that was my mindset because, like, when I was transitioning home from from like, half, like in the halfway houses and all that, I, I, I ended up getting around older people and then I'm still with the younger people at the same time. Now these older people that I'm around, they done did 20, 30 years and now they, they coming back and they see an iPhone looking crazy. The fuck is like, <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Like, they don't know. Like, and 
I'm and I'm seeing these young dudes in, bro. Like, hey, yo, bro, I just, I just, I just talked to my cousin. He got a new plug. Like, ain't happening. Like, like, you got to pick up the pack in the hat, bro. Really, bro? You ain't even in your city. God, do this wherever I go, bro. Like, I'm gonna get it regardless. Yeah, I look back at him like, if I act like him, I'm gonna be him. Oh, that's, a, that's a good analogy, right? <laughs> if I act like him, I'm going to be him. <laughs> now I'm good. But then, you know, you come home to these situations, and it's like, when I came home, the house I, I was living in, making, then I got my kids, so it's just like, there's a lot going on, and I put too much on myself, just happy to be home. End up falling right back into the into the trap. Then I'm, I'm starting to realize it again, I'm thinking about it, like, and it was like, it, it was, I, 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 I can only say it was a love because I started to see some of them older people that I was locked up with. Like, I met a guy, like, while I was fighting my case, I was in there with two guys that were like 67, 70 years old. And they just got done doing bids that I'm being offered now, at that time. Uh, they was offering me a 20 or 48. I mean, a, just a 20 year back number, but 48 months still. And off that, you're going to get hit crazy because all that time you got in between. So they told me they did 16, or one told me they did 17 off that. I'm like, yeah, nah. I got in the law library, law library. I kept fighting my case. Thank, thank a lot for a fruit of a poisonous tree. Got the majority of my case going out. But I came home, I was helping my dad run his company, and old dude got off the bus. And this is while I'm still I'm looking. Hey, what's going on, man? We talking whatever, whatever. We like, oh man, like, what's up? Like, that old head get a couple bricks on the sign. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. What's up? It's like you don't never you never learn. It's like just because the situation get bad, it's like you just gotta run to it. Like it is what it is. Like.